What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is out. I had a long live stream yesterday, guys, and today I want to talk about the uh, the future of the game. So let's go. All right, so Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, guys, <clears throat> if you tuned in for the live stream yesterday, eight hours running it, man, and this is just uh, the, the live stream playing in the background, but guys, this game, the more I play it, the more I fall in love with it. Um, I was playing it yesterday, and I did skip a lot of the, like, the smaller cutscenes. The reason why, and I explained that in the video or in the live stream is that in the Japanese version, I got past that part already. But when I got to the freezer part, man, it was straight just... I'm looking at everything. Like, the cutscenes are phenomenal. And the game does a good job of transitioning you from cutscene to game to fighting. And it does a really good job immersing you in that. Like, you actually feel like you're a part of it. And even though I was in the freezer saga through most of the stream of the Namek saga... I still felt like I was excited about what's to come. And I've seen, you know, screenshots. I've seen videos of the cutscenes and stuff. And I knew this, guys, and I told y'all this. It does it no justice. Like, you you still want to play it yourself and get immersed in that, in that experience. And it does a great job of that. Today, guys, I want to talk about what's coming up for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We already know the, the leaks. Uh, the data miners have leaked information about Beerus and Whis, which is no surprise because we've talked about Super uh, being in the game, but also Broly and Picon. Mm, very interesting. So we know that the DLC is going to come with two original stories or two original episodes. Now, um, actually in this live stream, I believe it was in the live stream. I did talk about, uh, no, it wasn't in the live stream. It was in the video day before yesterday where I talked about what episodes were because at the end of the sagas, um, they'll do like a brief rundown and it'll say episode at the top and then Dragon Ball Z character, kind of like the next episode. And people was under the impression that an episode was an entire saga. It's not. An episode is more or less uh, from the time that the dragon shows up with the title. Whenever he leaves and you get that final score, not the final score, but you'll get the score for that particular part. Say, for example, you fought Ginyu, you fought um, Frieza, and then like with Super Saiyan Goku, it's like three different battles, but that small section is considered an episode. So when we get to original episodes, I'm interested to see what it is. I really believe that it has something to do with Toa and Mira. I haven't got that far in the game, but I do know that Toa and Mira are in the game. Uh, but I have a feeling it has something to do with that. And it's so awesome because you're going to have the, that branch. You're going to have a branching storyline with original content. And then you're going to have the original story continue on. Like this, I don't see how you can be upset with this game. There, I, I would like to know from the people who talked about the game being the same old story. What are you thinking now? Because when I play this game, I don't get the feel of every Dragon Ball Z game. The same old story. I do not get that feeling. I don't. Because if you're not doing the story, you're flying around, leveling up, you're flying around doing subquests. And even the subquests is very interesting. There was one yesterday that was hilarious. Like, I was literally laughing out loud. Uh, it was the one with Yamcha. I'm not going to spoil it in case you hadn't done it, but it's funny, man. It's funny. And King Kai, he'll come in with some humor jokes here and there. Like, the game made me laugh, y'all. The subquests are, there are some funny subquests out there. There's some serious ones out there. This game is gorgeous. Like, overall, man. And, I mean, I streamed for almost nine hours. And even after the stream, y'all, I was still playing the game. It's addicting. It's, it, 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 I'm immersed. I'm captivated. I want to level up my characters. I want to see their growth. I want to see the next sock. I want to play the episodes. Guys, it is so fulfilling, and I cannot wait to see the DLC for this game. I'm speculating Dragon Ball Super. I'm going to go with the data miners because, like I said, I, I talked about that before. So, 
it's expected. You know, I expect that 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 Beerus and Weiss are in there. That that the next saga is Dragon Ball Super. Some people saying, well, maybe GT or maybe they'll take it back to Dragon Ball. It's like, no, the next saga is Dragon Ball Super. Well, maybe they'll do that in a sequel. They're not gonna do that in a sequel. They already said in the interview that they're looking at this as a standalone game. And the way that this game is structured, they're basically doing this right here we're on this side they're going with the story and on this side they're going with the original content to keep the game fresh and unique guys they don't need a sequel and looking at the cutscenes whoo can you imagine seeing battle of gods with the cutscenes that we have can you imagine how powerful characters are gonna be fighting against guys like beerus training with Whis, goku black zamasu like this game is going to get better and better and better and better. Now, with that being said, guys, I have to also talk about some things that need to be fixed in the game. And I wanted to do this in a separate video, but I'm going to present it in this one as well, because we're excited about the great, you know, the way that the game is. But there are some things that need to be addressed. One of them is the most requested thing and that is a difficulty level this game to a lot of people are saying that it needs to be more difficult or there needs to be a setting to adjust the difficulty and i i can't disagree with that like the game is great don't get me wrong but there are like certain missions that are super easy certain boss fights that are super easy but then there are times when the game is pretty difficult like and the thing about it is this it's it's not so much that the game is difficult at times it's that the mechanics that certain bosses have are hard to fight against like to me it's easier fighting bosses with vegeta vegeta's training to me is one of the hardest trainings because raditz and nappa nappa they do a very good job fighting together like it, it's 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 difficult in a good way their chemistry is awesome. Like Nappa has these unblockable attacks that he'll do. Raditz does a good job of firing those those key blasts and things like that. And it's fun. It's difficult, but it's fun and it's challenging. And people want that. So I don't know if CyberConnect 2, if you guys will be able to implement a difficulty setting in the game or because it's not, I know it's not structured in the game for a difficulty setting. You get what I'm saying? So for those of y'all asking for a difficulty setting or a harder difficulty, the game is really designed. I mean, what they would have to do is make more mechanics harder. I mean, some people complain, even myself, I kind of complained a little bit about the the super armor that some of these villains have. It's like, come on, man. My hang up was. Uh, or the thing that I didn't like too much was the fact of like in the anime and the manga, Goku owned Raccoon. He owned Nappa. And you don't fully get the sense of that when playing with Goku in the game against those two. Uh, but in, on the same side, it's like when you're strong, you're strong. And it's nothing more satisfying than getting a one on one and just toying with your opponent. Like it's so much fun. So satisfying. But the guys, the game does a good job of creating difficulty at times. Like Dodoria seemed to be a little bit more difficult boss fight. Um, Nappa, whenever he train, whenever you're doing training with Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz do a good job of creating a level of difficulty. Guys, I've, I've said it a lot and I know it's difficult to understand or to apply. But if you want a more difficult setting of the game, then don't level up like the game is going to level you up automatically and that's where the issue is coming in because the game will put you at a certain level to be able to play and enjoy the story but at the same time it's too easy still for some people the thing about that is this is that whenever you level up you know yes you're getting stronger and stuff like that stick skills still matter but as far as being under level, it's really not easy to be under level. So how can you do this? Could you create a feature that allows you to drop down in levels or something to that effect? I don't know. But that is one of the main concerns or main things that people have been talking about that I've been hearing is to add some kind of difficulty to the game, you know, uh, because, like I said, you see some people that's struggling with even Raditz fight and then some people that's just blowing through it. 
And I told y'all that, that, I mean, the difficulty, if your stick skills are good, then you're going to do well at the game. The reason I feel like they didn't really just implement a hard game in a sense or a difficulty setting is because they want you to enjoy the story. I mean, it, it, it is a challenge. For those of you who are not challenged, it's because your stick skills are, are good. Now, I know you still want a challenge. So, yeah, I agree. There should be something implemented in the game to create a level of difficulty. Um, but at the, but in the, in the same respect, I know that Cyber Connect 2, where I feel like what they're doing is trying to create a game where you're not so much worried about a challenging combat. Like the mechanics are challenging at times, but they want you to enjoy. They don't want that to take away from the story. It's a story based game. But I agree with you. There should be a setting for difficulty. But and with that setting, there should come greater rewards and stuff like that. So. Um, another thing was people having an issue with is the experience points. And that's something I guess I can kind of explain is like I explained it to people. They they need you there. If you're under level, they're going to level you up to like Goku coming back from King Kai's planet. I think he, he the game puts him at level 17 no matter what level you're at. Well, lower level. If you're higher level, then it's not going to do that. The game gives you enough experience points to be at the, whatever level that you're meant to play as Goku as and after King Kai you're meant to be at level 7 so if you're at level 10 the game is going to give you enough experience points that boost you up to level 17 if you're at level 17 you won't get any experience points and so like I said what they're doing is basically setting that default okay so then from there the issue comes how if I want a challenge how do I create that challenge and that's what people are having an issue with they want a more challenging experience and I get that and I'm fine with that because I will agree with that. Some of the fights are easy. Um, some of them are difficult. I don't look at it as the game is easy. I look at it as I'm just good at the controls because I do see a lot of people who have trouble with the controls. Also, they still hadn't changed the Super Saiyan auras, uh, which I don't know why they're blue anyway. You know, whenever you do Surge or if you're in Kaioken and you do Surge, Super Saiyan and you do Surge, the aura matches. But when you charge, it's blue. And that's the only uh, that's it. It's still an issue from for some people. But all in all, guys, the the content is 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 the game is looking stellar and I'm excited to get DLC. I'm thinking DLC probably should start rolling out maybe in March. They said in the spring. That's what people are saying, like the Tao Pao Pao Pillar and stuff comes out in the spring as well. What I'm wondering is, are they going to have any kind of free updates? Like, are there going to be season pass DLC along with like free updates, like with added sub quests and stuff like that? Also, guys, let me know y'all's requests so I can talk about them in videos and try to get this information out to them so that they can know what we want. Because I know people want Krillin playable as a sub as a playable character. And that's something that they can do because these support characters already have their own skill trees. They already have everything else that the main characters have. The skill trees aren't as extensive, but they have them and they even level up and stuff like that, too. So it's literally just flipping something. Well, it's not that simple, but, you know, making something in the system that says that this person can be placed in a playable character spot. You get what I'm saying? So let me know that. Keep feeding me that information, guys. And one day what I'll do is just get together and get all that information together and we'll do a, a sheer breakdown video and uh, talk about that stuff and get that in because they're looking. They're wanting to know what we like, what we don't like and stuff like that. It's a great game. If I gave it a rating right now, it would be a nine out of ten. Uh, reason why I wouldn't give it a ten out of ten right now is simply because like the difficulty setting. I think that I agree that that is something that should be in the game. Um also, just like I said with the fights, like with Goku and Raditz, like, I mean, Goku and uh, Nappa, and he owned him, and he literally beat Raccoon with one hit. Like, I feel like the game should represent that, reflect that as well, or whatever, but it doesn't. It's not a big hang up, but, you know, little stuff like that, and like the training with King Kai, Snake Way, I feel like they could have implemented some of those things as well. But looking at what the data miners have found Guys, it's it's going to be very, very interesting, the direction that this game is going to take. And I'm not surprised because I told y'all, told y'all a long time ago it would be this way. Y'all, hit that like video. Look for the merchandise down in the description box below. I'm going to leave y'all with the beautiful Halo ad because they have a ton of great stuff for both Dragon Ball content as well as um, anime in general. So I'll leave y'all with that. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace. You can find all kinds of themes merch on beautifulhalo.com. We have anime, comic, game, music.
memes, and many other themes merch. Check the link in the description and find your favorite hoodies and tees now.